Hi everyone, I'm Paul from SkySiv and today I'll be doing a quick walkthrough on how to use SkySiv Beam. Now, after you create your SkySiv account, you'll be greeted with a dashboard like this, which contains the SkySiv file manager, has all your files for all the different types of software we have, and has some information about your account. So we're going to be focusing on SkySiv Beam today. So to access that software, we just click Beam in the left menu. Now SkySiv Beam is a software for uh, horizontal beam analysis. Uh, for, for other types of structures, we can use uh, the different software on the left here. Uh, it's worth mentioning as well that all this software is cloud-based, so it can be accessed on skysiv.com. Okay, so this is the SkySiv Beam software. So first step would be to select our units. So I'm, I'm quite happy with uh, using force in kilonewtons and the length in meters. So I'm, I'm going to leave that. The first step is to add a beam. So we'll just run through all these buttons on the left. So first step, add a beam. I'm going to choose uh, two meters in length. Add support. Uh, on the far left, I'm going to have a fixed support. So that's at zero meters added. Um, now I'm going to add a point load on the far right, which is two meters. And I'm going to make that an angled point load. Five five kilonewtons in magnitude and uh, 60 degrees from the horizontal added okay now I could add a moment but for this example I'm going to keep it fairly simple uh, so I'll just add a distributed load uh, I'll choose 0.1 meter start length 0.5 meters end location um, and the, it will be a, a uniform distributed load so it's just uh, 1 meter start magnitude 1 meter end magnitude as you can see, it's flat. I'll add another distributed load in the middle of the beam. So let's go with 0.8, whoops, 0 0.8 meters and an end location of 1.5 meters. Start magnitude of one and an end magnitude of, I'm just making this up. So I'll just choose three for instance. <laughs> okay. And uh, you can see that was added. Um, I could add more uh, supports, more loads, even add some hinges, but I'm just going to keep this simple. Um, so after you add uh, things to, to the beam setup, uh, you can edit them or delete them using this table at the bottom. Uh, so it's fairly easy to use. Um, now the next step uh, before solving uh, would be to add a section. So it's worth mentioning that if you don't add a section, you will only be able to solve for the reactions, the shear, and the moment. Um, if you add a section, you will be able to solve for extra results like deflection and stress because they depend on the section and the material of the beam. Okay, so to add uh, this, the shape of the beam and the material for the beam, we click this Add Edit Section button. So on the left here, that's where we um, add the section shape uh, and the section dimensions. And in the middle, this is where we uh, add the material for the beam. And on the right, that is uh, the the values or the, the section parameters like area, moment of inertia, centroid, etc. So firstly, I'll, I'll choose structural steel for my beam material. Um, now I could enter the dimensions for the shape of the section manually. Like I could choose a T-beam and enter those dimensions manually. Um, but what I'm going to do is import a standard section from the library. So I'm Australian, so I'm going to choose an Australian section. Uh, we also have American sections, British, and uh, Eurocode sections. So I'm going to add an Australian standard section, uh, 250 grade steel, a universal beam, and I'm going to choose uh, 180 UB22. So I double click that and it sketches it so we can see what the shape looks like. It uh, imported all the dimensions for me, which is fantastic um, and it's got the uh, parameters of the section too so I'm, I'm all happy with that so I click submit and it's it's added that for me now I'm ready to solve because I've entered I've fully entered all my uh, my the setup for the beam so to solve I just click solve up the top and you can see it solves fairly quickly um, and then we're greeted with a an analysis uh, report uh, for all our results. 
So I'll start from the top. Up the top, uh, we have the free body diagram, um, which gives us the reactions at the supports. If we were interested in how the how these values were calculated, it's quite useful for students. It will go through a full work solution for the reaction forces. Um, after that, we have the beam section info. If we want to refer to the values, uh, the dimensions, they're all there for us. Uh, next, we have the shear force diagram. Um, again, there's a full working solution for this. Um, and there's for each curve, you can see the equation of those curves. Uh, next is the bending moment diagram. Um, so we can see the max moment value is negative uh, 10.47 kilonewton meters. Again, there's a full work solution for this um, using the method of sections. And you, you have the bending moment equations as well. Now, because I added a section, I also have the deflection results, rotation, which is the beam slope and the stress results. So I'll start with deflection. So with deflection it'll, it'll show the the critical values of deflection. So here we have the max value all the way on the right is 4.3 meters, uh, 4.3 millimeters, sorry, down. Um, it also shows the shape of the deflection, which is very handy. Um, so next is the rotation or the slope of the beam. Um, we also have a 3D renderer, which is very, very useful to, to see um, how the beam looks in real life. Um, and you can toggle all the different types of results using uh, this menu on the right. So you can see all the different types of, um, all the different results. Um, you can even slide this uh, bar here and it will show the shape of deflection for you. Um, next is the stress results. So these two tables show the critical uh, stress values. Um, up the top it is just a, a, a summary of all those critical values and down the bottom we can enter any length along the beams. So say I wanted 0.5 meters along the beam to see what the values were. Um, very neat, uh, very good for reports um, and on the right lastly we have the stress profile um, which is the bending stress at the location that we entered down here. So at, at 0.5 meters we can see uh, the values of stress um, at that of the section at 0.5 meters along the beam. Okay so that's the report. Uh, some other handy things uh, we can do with this is we can uh, select a printable version makes it uh, printer friendly if you want to print it out on paper otherwise you can save it to an image uh, so you can you can do things like crop it and add it to your own report if you wanted to or you can even uh, save this to a PDF as well which is a, and it will create a nice neat report for you okay and uh, lastly if we want to save this for later um, we can save it to our SkySiv account because we're on the cloud or your files can be stored um, on your file manager which is great so say I wanted to give it a file name beam example one save and now that would have saved to my account so I can open it later um, also you can go back and make changes to your beam and, and then resolve it which is obviously very handy if you're designing the beam and you, you want to iterate different uh, loading scenarios or different types of sections it's uh, very very handy Okay, so I hope that helps, guys. That was a quick walkthrough of how to use SkySiv Beam. Uh, if you have any questions or you want to access this software, please visit skysiv.com. Um, you can info, you can email us at info at um, if you have any questions or doubts, or, or even if you'd like if you'd like a demo from uh, one of the engineers here at SkySiv. Okay, guys, hope that helps. Bye.